Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. All right, today we're going to be showing you how to rebuild a single lever delta faucet. Uh, you can see this one's got a pretty good steady drip, and it also leaks out of the handle when we use it to the cold side. So we're going to show you how to rebuild that today. So the first thing you're going to do is shut the supply valves off underneath to shut the water off. We'll test it make sure it's off, hot and cold. All right, so next we'll grab an eighth inch Allen wrench. We'll loosen the set screw in the handle. That way we can remove the handle and set it aside. Once we have the handle took off, we're going to need to open our rebuild kit as it has the tool to loosen that nut on the top of the faucet. The part number is going to be at RB3614. Uh, we need that part right here, that little tool, to twist that decorative cap and remove it. So we're going to open the package and get that tool out. All right, once we open the package and got that tool out, we can go ahead and stick it in the grooves on the top of the nut and twist it and loosen it up. Uh, once we have it loose with the wrench, we can go ahead and spin it off by hand and set it aside. All right, so next we can grab a small set of channel locks. We'll grab onto the stem of the ball and we'll pull it out gently. Uh, you'll notice this ball has got some corrosion on it, so we're going to actually replace it with a new one. Part number is going to be an RB70. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that ball. Next, we can grab a flat screwdriver. And we'll use it to stick it down inside the cups and springs. That way we can twist it a little bit and remove them. We'll do the hot and cold. Uh, they go in one direction, so pay attention when you're removing them to see how they go. Alright, next we'll grab our new cups and springs out of the rebuild kit. You're going to know that one side of the spring is smaller. That's so it goes inside the cup. So once we have them put together, we can go ahead and place it inside the hot side of the faucet. Make sure it's down there and seated in there properly. It should be almost flush with the faucet. Next, we'll do the same thing with cold. Stick the spring inside the cup, stick it onto the screwdriver, and place it down inside the faucet. Make sure it's really snapped down in there. You kind of hear it click or pop. Next, we can unpack it to the new ball since we're going to replace it. You'll notice that it has a little groove here, which goes in the notch of that faucet on the cold side. And you want the flat part of the stem facing forward. So that's where the handle set screw touches on to lock it on. Go ahead and lock that in there. All right, so we're going to look at our old cover. And you're going to see that this one is the triangle or V-shaped one. There's a rectangle one. So we're going to use the V-shaped one. That's what we had in there. You're going to notice it has a little notch on the side here. That's going to go in the notch of the faucet on the left side, hot side of the faucet. So we'll just push that in. Make sure the O-ring seat's in there nice and well. Push it in there until it's all the way flush. So we'll go ahead and grab the chrome cover and thread that back on my hand. Next, we'll grab the tool. We'll give it a couple twists to snug it down. We don't need to be super tight as everything's brand new o-ring, so it'll seal very easily. All right, so next we'll grab our handle. We'll go ahead and slide it on. Make sure the set screw is on the flat part of the stem of the ball. Once we have it all the way on, we can grab our eighth inch Allen wrench or the other side of that tool. We'll go ahead and snug that set screw down to hold the handle in position. Next, we can turn on the hot and cold supply valves. Once we have the valves on, we'll go ahead and push the cold side, make sure we get nice cold water. We'll also move it around a little bit to check to make sure it's not spraying out of the handle like it was before. Then we'll push it to the hot side, make sure we get hot water. Then we'll go ahead and shut the faucet off, make sure it doesn't drip. If it doesn't, so that's it. We just showed you how to rebuild a single lever delta faucet. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuide.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get the latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the what's next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write up.